I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and you will get a notification every time I post a new wig related video. So today I wanted to bring you a review of a style that I've actually reviewed in the past. Uh, this is Gabor's Soft and Subtle in the Petite Average size and the color on this one is GL810, yes. <laughs> sorry, GL810, which is their dark chestnut. And um, I wasn't gonna review this. I purchased this at Wig Outlet and just because I like soft and subtle and I wanted another one, And but then I realized I had never reviewed this color for my channel. So I thought, well, I'll sort of update you on my thoughts on soft and subtle and I'll show you this new color that I haven't shown before. So, so this is soft and subtle. I'll do a turn so you can see her all the way around and then I'll get into all of her specifications. So here's the front. She just has a really, she's got very gentle uh, waves, um, really, really pretty style with a very natural look, which is something I really like about her. She's not too curly. She's not too loose. Um, the waves seem to hold, uh, this is just regular synthetic, not heat friendly, so the waves hold really well. And I just think she's a cute style. So this is my right side. Okay, and back to the front. So as far as the cap, she is a lace front. I will show you the, the lace front. I think Gabor, does a great job on their lace fronts. So um, this is an eight with a 10 and they put that uh, lighter, I think 10 towards the front, but an eight is not a dark brown anyway. So, um, you know, the knots don't show and they, they just do a nice um, tiny knot. I'm just always really happy with them. Now I will tell you that I modified this wig just slightly. Like I said, this is my wig. Um, so I plucked the part on my wig, so don't jump all over me in the comments that I modified the wig, la la la. Yeah, I know, I'm telling you, I modified the wig, okay? So I did widen the part um, just a little bit just to make it look more natural, but you can really see, you know, that monofilament part there. I didn't, I didn't pluck it too much, but I just did a little bit of plucking. Um, with wavy wigs, I feel like sometimes the part is kind of just, you know, all smashed in with waves. And so, you know, I just kind of uh, made sure I had the zigzag out really well. And then, like I said, I did do a little bit of plucking on it. So um, actually I have, I don't know if I have, if I have a picture, I'll post it here um, before the plucking, but I don't know if I still have the picture. So anyway, but really, really a cute wig. Um, the ear tabs are really, really nice. Um, I always get great coverage with a Gabor wig. And since this is a petite average, you know, that ear tab just falls right above my ear, which is great for glasses and just really comfortable. The cap is not too big, but I have great uh, coverage around my face. I've just got a little bit of hair there, but you can't really see it that well. So. Um, you know, I think that if you had more hair around your face, you know, if your hair loss was more on the top and you had the hair that's on your face, I don't, I think you'd get pretty good coverage with it. So really, really nice. Okay. Let me pop her off. I'll show you the inside. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of scan over this stuff because I've already reviewed her in the past, but, um, so lace front, I did trim that lace down a little bit. That's something I've started doing, trimming my lace down. You'll see a little bit of, um, I think that's probably got to be a uh, glued spray there from when I just kind of adhered it down. So there's your mono part. Lace front goes from ear tab down to ear tab, temple to temple. Close lace here. She does have some permatease and I will try to show that to you. Uh, she's got the soft velvet ear tabs, nice piece of metal, open wefted cap, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, so great cap construction, very comfortable. Um, so the permatease on her, one thing about her is there's permatease. I don't know if I can even show it. It's so hard to show it on the camera. Um, there's permatease right where the wefts attach to the cap. Not so much a big ball of permatease up here on the top where that closed lace is. I think there's a little, 
those are really closed wefts. Yeah, it, there's not additional permatease other than that, that teasing, like I said, that you can see a little bit of it right there. I hope you can see that. I think you can. So it's got that teasing at the wefts. And that is just to give the whole style a little bit of lift. Um, however, you can use that to your advantage. If you like a big style, you know, you can kind of scrunch it and you can get a bigger style. I like a more low density, low profile style. So I tend to, you know, push it down. And if I push it down, it stays down. It doesn't get poofy on me. But one thing that I do want to want to note is that when you put your hands kind of in the hair, you know, you just naturally sort of touch your wig or whatever, put your hands in there. You're going to feel that teasing and it might feel like to your hands, like, oh my gosh, my wig is full of permatease, but it's really just that gentle teasing that's right there at the weft. So don't think that you're gonna have those little sticky up hairs, you know, like you do on more of a basic cap construction. It doesn't have any of that. And as you can see, it looks pretty low density on me and it does stay that way, which I like. So just a little note about the style. Okay, so this color is the GL810 Dark Chestnut. It's described by them as a rich dark brown with coffee highlights. Um, I would say it's a medium brown with a lighter brown highlight running through it. Um, not even really golden. We'll see what it looks like, you know, out uh, in the natural light in just a minute. But, um, you know, it's just very natural. It's blended really pretty. Um, you know, it is a highlight, so it's there's a visible uh, separate color there, but it's not like a bold, chunky highlight or anything. It's just very subtle running through the wig. So very pretty color. Goes The highlighting goes all over the style. So really, really cute. I like the color a lot. So let's take the color outside and we will look at it outside in the natural light. So here's the color, I'm under my patio cover. So you can definitely see the variation in that color when we're in the natural light. And then we can step out here in the sun. It's bright, sunny, and hot again. And I'm over the heat, it's October, like it's supposed to be fall. Okay. Um, so there you can see it. But you see like the style itself is just, it's a very natural looking style. Okay, so that color is, it's just a very pretty brunette. I, I had this color on their premium wig, which is a kind of a, I guess like a bob, but it's got a bang on it. And I ended up not keeping premium and I had premium before I ever started doing reviews. I just wasn't crazy about the bang on me, um, but I loved the color and I just have never had a chance to try the dark chestnut again. So I was excited to get to try it again. So anyway, um, I do wanna go over the measurements real quick because if you haven't seen the old review, I just want you to have all the information in this video. So the front and the crown on this one are 10.25 inches. The sides and back are eight inches. So there are, you know, it is just a little bit layered, but the layers are long layers. And then the nape down here, uh, back here, excuse me, is five inches. So with 10 and, 10 and a quarter up here in front, you know, you can pull back this uh, front hair, you know, with a, we can pull it all the way back with a clip if you want, let a little bit, you know, fall down there in the front and that looks really pretty. Of course you could, you know, you've got, you've got a great lace front that's temple to temple, so you can pull that front back and I wear it like this a lot actually. Um, you know, and then you can do your headbands. Uh, it works great with glasses. I don't have glasses with me, sorry. But, um, you know, I showed you how to have that space there. So glasses work really well with it as well. So I'm really happy with it. I don't know about a, I think you can actually get her in a ponytail because I wore my other one in a little, yeah. If you just want to get the hair up off your neck, you can get it in a little tiny itty bitty baby ponytail, but it does have an extended nape. So it works just fine. I hope you can see that. I never can tell what y'all can see when I'm 
<laughs> not looking at the camera, of course. So anyway, I just wanted to show her to you um, and just kind of re-review and let you know that this is a style that um, is kind of one of those that's in my wig closet, you know, that I, I really love this style and um, I've obviously purchased, I purchased this in one of their more blonde colors. I think it was the honey pecan or something like that. And it was way too blonde for me. You can go over to my Instagram and, and scan through it. And there's pictures of that color on me, but I ended up returning that one because I wasn't crazy about the color. But anyway, what, after I had purchased that one, I wanted to get another one. So, um, so anyway, uh, just wanted to show you soft and subtle in the petite average cap. It also comes in a large cap for you all who have, you know, a larger circumference. Um, and this petite, I will say this petite average fits me great. I don't have, I don't even think I even moved the adjusters. It's just spot on. So, and I'm 21 inches around, 11 ear to ear, 13 forehead to nape. So anyway, I hope that is all helpful for you. Hope you're all doing well. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful.